Over 500 libraries have a new book on the shelves after an Oklahoma author decided to donate her work to every school district in the state. Joining me now is that author, Dr. Riley Williams. Thank you for being here today. Thank you so much, Avery, for the opportunity to come into the studio today. Well, I'm sure that the public school districts of Oklahoma are very happy to have the opportunity to have your book on the shelves. You told me 547 books were donated. Yes, yes. And how does that even work? Do you just stack them all up in your living room? <laughs> Actually, yeah, we did. So um, we had a little assembly line going. Um, we had the books in one area, then um, the yellow envelopes in another, and then my daughter is putting the stamps on it. Um, we just had a good time. We put it on the ping pong table. It stacked up about this high. And um, yeah, we got it all mailed out. You told me that adds up to around $5,000 worth of books, so it was something that meant a lot to you. It was. You know, Oklahoma is our home, and we just wanted to share this message um, to the best of our ability, and we thought together, you know, what better way than to share that with uh, the people in our community. And so this book does have a message. You brought a copy of it here today. Tell me about it. So Richard's Friends is unlike any book I've ever read. Um, especially on this market. Um, it has a wide range of characters with differing abilities. Um, some are more obvious than others. You know, Ethan has Down syndrome, Adam is in a wheelchair, um, and yet there are other characters with uh, less visible um, abilities. And what this book shows is that these kids just want to be kids. It highlights their strengths, it challenges stereotypes, and it never explicitly says that any of these kids have any differing abilities. And a big part of why this was important to you was your son, correct? Yeah, um, so Reese, he's about two and a half years old, and um, he actually has Down syndrome, like my character, Ethan. Um, you know, I think after he was born, you know, you get over all of the really scary potential health issues that a child with Down syndrome might have, and then you come to this other realization, and it's, it's a genuine fear. Is my child going to be accepted and loved in the way that I love him? And I think that's something that all mothers want for their children. Um, and so that was really the inspiration for the book, is just to show that all of these kids, they're just kids. And I know that this book is for ages three to five. One of my co-anchor does have a four-year-old. How would I go about getting this book? So it's available um, actually on Amazon and at Barnes and Noble. Um, you can go online and get it there. That's great. And is there anything else you would want people to know? Yeah, so this book, it's, it's not just for children with differing abilities. This, this book is for everyone. You know, it's lyrical, it's fun, it has beautiful illustrations. And um, try it out. I hope that you guys enjoy it. We definitely will. Thank you for being here today. Thank you, Avery.